leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. I'm here, Mister. I've been sick. <sighs> the first part of the vlog is gonna be me sick. I thought I was getting better. I thought I was feeling better because when I started realizing I was getting sick, I was at my mom's house. There's a call from one public health specialist for the Minister of Health to increase public awareness about the surge in viral illnesses. Dr. Alveston Bailey says the situation is getting worse and needs to be controlled. Over the past few weeks, quite a number of persons have been showing up at hospitals and private medical facilities with flu-like symptoms. Dr. Alveston Bailey, who is a medical doctor and a public health specialist, says he's seen quite a few cases himself. He says so far, 40% of the patients he sees have flu-like symptoms, especially among the young and senior citizens. And she made Cersei mix with ginger garlic and i don't know if she put mint in it but that literally made me feel good and had crackers and then i came home and i said okay let me make some mint ginger garlic and like that tea bush tea and then i drank some and i was feeling a little bit better and it's getting worse like now my eyes are hurting and i'm sneezing and coughing and i had a dry cough i think okay so i'm drinking neil citron right now so it's like a hot lemon tea for anyone who doesn't know citron I think it's kind of helping with the coughs because whenever I drink this, the coughs are gone. And then I took a pill from this flu set that I got from Panda, brought it with me, and then it's working. And then my hysterol that helps with coughs is done. So I need to bring some, get some more. Sorry, I had to start off the vlog like this. I'm in my bed. I've been in my bed. I've been watching videos. I'm gonna have to edit some TikToks because I post every day on TikTok. You guys can follow me on TikTok at Anisha. Adams, if you guys want short, funny videos. And I have to force myself to drink all of this off. Ugh. Let me tell you guys my symptoms. Now I have runny nose. My lip noids, they kind of went down. Like like a day ago yesterday, my lip noids were swollen and stuff. But right now, if I could have some of the Cersei bush and mix it in with my tea, I think it would help a lot. Still coughing, loss of, loss of appetite. So hopefully by tomorrow I feel better. Because we have some stuff to do in this vlog. I'm gonna shit with you guys. <sighs> Oh, update about the lash technician. So I went to a different one. And I mean, she was nice. I don't have no complaints about her. The only thing is, she was the first lash tech to make one eye look more droopy than the other. Like, I have a lazy eye and I, it's this one. But all the other lash techs I went to, they never showed my droopy eye. I don't know if it's like technique, but with this lash tech, you can see my droopy eye. Even in my photos and my videos and stuff. So I'm still going to try out more lash techs. And then at the end, I'm going to tell you guys who's the best. So I've been to two different lash techs so far in Mandeville. So we have a quite few to go to. Hmm. <sighs> Hey guys, it's the next day, but at night. Well, it's only, what time is it? It's five o'clock. And I've been editing a vlog all day today. So I just finished, so for the rest of the evening. I just finished, so for the rest of the evening, I'm just gonna like chill out for a bit. I'm gonna wipe my teeth and stuff, but look. I'm getting a pimple on my face. Anyway, since I got this pimple, my sister, she told me about pimple patches, but she has the other one. My sister has the red and white one. So I went back to Walmart to get it. I don't know what the correct name of the brand is, but they it was all sold out. The whole box was done empty and then Walmart didn't restock it. So I'm gonna try out this one. I don't know if it's good because the one that my sister used, she tried it when she bought it and it works. So this looks like it's Korean. Yeah, it's Korean. So this is the clear Plus Fit Master Patch is C O S R X. And I have 18 packs. I look like a mess, but I'm gonna try out this patch. I've been drinking my tea, guys. Every time I sneeze, my whole entire body hurts so bad. Like it just pings me. This is a clear fit master patch so of course your face has to be clean and then you apply it and it's so funny because i got this in canada they they covered up the korean sex part with a sticker and put french because <laughs> french is the second language of them. all right so this is how it looks in the pack this is so different from my sister's one i'm pretty sure 
don't know, this is so weird. You have to like break it. All right, let's see. So there it is. This hurts so bad. So I'm gonna leave this on for the rest of the night and tomorrow morning. I will, yeah. I'm gonna go and take my bed sheets because I feel like they have way too much germs on it. So I'm gonna take off my bed sheets and everything and then I'm gonna wipe my teeth and watch some YouTube videos. Cause I'm gonna have to start back work again tomorrow. I'm gonna have to wash my hair tomorrow because there's too much product built up in my hair. Okay, I'm gonna do a mini laundry routine with you guys. So here's my clothes. I'm gonna take out the towel. The last last time I washed something with the towel, all my clothes had like fur on it. So we're gonna do just a mini routine. All right, so I press on, and I'm just gonna put on the fast mode. So we're gonna put it on the fast mode. And I adjust it to the water level. So the water needs to be that high. And then to wash 10 minutes, one time. Okay, great. I use some of this. It smells really good on the clothes. Whenever I pour anything in here, it just comes straight through here. So I was, yeah, I don't put nothing in it because as soon as I pour it in, it just falls right through immediately in there. I was like, okay, that was pointless. So I have, I use some gain. Wait, why does it feel like it's empty? Oh my gosh, is it empty? Oh, it's empty. Okay, so we need to buy new one of this. Okay, and then I'm going in, I'm going in with some soap powder. Put this over. There it is. We're going to close this. And it's starting. All right, it's all done. And I'm gonna take out everything. So we look inside, this is how it looks. And then we're gonna put it in here. So we're gonna turn on, we're gonna turn on. Okay, I take one of these, they smell really good. And I put these, one in the dryer, so like this. Well, I have two, one is at the bottom ready before all the clothes went in and I just put this one, close it. And then I'm gonna switch it to Nick. Let's do 90. Dry level to that one, and then I'm gonna start it. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna be watching YouTube videos for the rest of the evening, so I'll see you guys in the morning. next day <laughs> I look like a mess because we are going to be refreshing this so I'm gonna have an actual vlog all about um, refreshing my sewing maintenance like I'm gonna do a sewing maintenance so I'm gonna link that video so you guys can watch that video and how I refresh it and redo the hairstyle and everything yeah so it didn't even work I'm so mad. Oh, it says that I'm supposed to remove the patch whenever it turns white. I don't think it turned white. And I still removed it. I'm gonna should I try one more time because I forgot that I have. This is what I got from Walmart. Just like you know. Um, I forgot I have the Mario Badescu. I forgot I have this. So basically, it, I'm supposed to put it on here with a Q-tip, and it's supposed to suck out everything and dry down. It's supposed to make it reduce the size and almost make it disappear. But now, since I didn't follow the instructions, I'm starting to feel like I should redo this one more time. I took it off. No, it was white. I'm lying because I slept with it overnight. And when I woke up in the morning, the pimple was hurting. Like, it was still hurting from the night before. So, no, it didn't work. I was acting like I took it off after a few hours. No. I went to sleep with it on. And it didn't dry it out. I'm going to shower right now because that's what I'm going to go do. I'm going to do my hair. Okay, I'm back from showering and doing that other video. Right now, 
I'm gonna head out on the road. I'm gonna bring you guys along. There's this place. I'm gonna have to go do my eyebrows as well. I need to go do my nails too, but this nail is still on. Let me show you guys. Because on the inside here, let me see if you guys, it, the whole entire nail is off. Like my nail is detached. The only part that is still on my nail is the sides. And I, <laughs> so I have to take off all of them except this one. This is rough, guys. So I'm gonna sit here for an hour. Oh, speaking about whitening my teeth, I was supposed to do it the other night where you guys saw my night routine. Um, I couldn't do that because I was sneezing a lot so it would defeat the whole purpose of me whitening my teeth because my whole mouth has to be shut for like a good 30 minutes and I would be like ah, choo, choo, choo. <laughs> so I was like I can't be whitening my teeth so I'm gonna whiten my teeth with you guys <laughs> later on in the vlog oh yeah I forgot to update you guys I feel <laughs> I feel 10 million times better because I took these set them off all right, I don't know why. Well, I do know why. The reason why I haven't took these sets of mouth pills is because I brought flu pills with me from Canada, so I was using that. But clearly, those pills are not strong enough. So the sets of mouth worked like in one hour after I took the green one. Yesterday, I started feeling 20 million times better. And then I took the night one. I woke up. I felt a little bit eh. And then I took the green one again. 20 times more better. So I feel better. You guys can probably still hear maybe the stuffiness in my voice but child i'm gonna go to the supermarket and stock up on these in my home because clearly the little pills them that i bought, brought from canada are not strong enough um for <laughs> my issue that i have is not strong enough and i always knew about setama panadol all, all, all of those type of pills but i was like i don't need to buy them since i brought stuff with me from farm this i'm gonna not left this out ever again <laughs> I'm gonna buy so much when I go grocery shopping. I'm gonna stock up on these and keep them in my medicine cabinet because these work so good. I'm back because I'm like, I'm not going on the road with a towel on my head. You will not ever catch me going on the road with a bonnet on my head, a towel, on, like nothing. Oh. That's not my style. Like I'd rather go on my hair messy like this than wear a bonnet to be honest, like come on now. So I'm gonna brush out everything. My hair is a little bit still damp as you can see but i have to go on the road and do stuff so it'll dry somewhere once i'm out on the road okay so. i'm gonna step back so you guys can see everything see now my brush can actually go through my hair because the last time there was hair spray or got to be got to be spray so the hair couldn't even brush out properly and the curls stayed in it no matter what this hair is really long i want to do a 360 sew in but the hairdresser i go to she hasn't done it before i want to do it so i can be able to pull like hold it up like put my hair up in a ponytail look at this <laughs> put my hair up in a ponytail and be able to not care and I don't have to wear like a headband or anything came back I gave away all my headbands to the point that I don't even have any anymore okay I'm buying khaki and they changed up how it looks here in Christiana they actually have a moving screen with all the prices here so it looks good let's get six more okay this is a mega and I can't get enough of it, it's so good. Okay, abs update. Look at the definition is coming. I still have a lot more to go. At least definition is coming. I feel like this is the easiest for me to achieve. I think it's muscle memory from track and field days. So I'm gonna give myself another 30 days. But I, I'm gonna give myself another 30 days. But I like what I see so far. I'm gonna watch my head. Hey guys, welcome back. No, okay guys, it's the next day. Guess what happened? So yet last yesterday I went to wash my hair and everything. No, I went, I washed my hair as you guys seen and I was gonna leave out. It started raining. Oh, you guys did. She's so cute. Go with her. It started raining. 
so hard for an hour and then after there was like so much sunshine welcome to jamaica swing into the world yeah as i was saying before the sun came out i tried to ruin my life i was saying that how i'm gonna have to go like tomorrow to go do my hair so in the meantime i'm just chilling you know what i'm thinking i'm thinking of doing a podcast and i know the name and the vibe and everything for it but i'm like okay are people gonna even listen but then i was like when do I, when did i start caring about if people are gonna listen to my stuff or not i usually don't care i just do stuff and as time goes on i know people will tune in so maybe i need to start thinking like that again but i'm thinking of doing the podcast still thinking of doing the small business and then um never pop you oreo well he's not really a puppy like one time Nana and Squidgy called him Oreo. Who? We had him since when? November or December? December. December. And he's so big now. Hi, Kristoff. So I'm still thinking of doing. I'm still thinking of doing the, the small business, and then. The cat's eating the sawfish. Go get the cat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we. Put over there. Come, Nana. We have to just put it at the top or the bottom. So I saw this at the supermarket and I said, okay, I'm going to buy, buy this and bring it for Nana them because I know they had this before. I'm pretty sure Frankie bought it for her. Yeah, but I was like, oh, I like Bigfoot. It's from Trinidad, I think. I think so. But I like the spicy one. So I was like, yeah, I want to try it out. So we're going to try this today. And Squidgy. No, who came up with the name Oreo? Is this Squidgy? Chubby. No. Yeah. I thought it was Squidgy. Oh, it was Chubby? Oh. Yeah, he's so big now. He's too hyper sometimes, but we're going to put his mix on the screen. He's way bigger now. So a man near, apart like, at my apartment, he's kind of, like, less fortunate. He came, and he's like, oh, do you want a dog? No, he's like, I'm going to sell you a dog. I was like, I didn't want to buy it, but I had to buy it because I'm like, I don't want to hear that something happened to this dog. Because when this dog was so small, it was so cute. So now he's big, and he's very hyper. And I know Kamisha, my sister, she has a YouTube channel. Oh, my gosh. She was teaching him some stuff, so she needs to teach him some more things. Okay, bye bye. I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, I think we're gonna go set up the pool. Yeah, we're gonna go look at Nana's hair, everyone. We're going to go set up the pool because I think I wanna go in the pool. It's been so hot today. It's like someone turned up a dial on the country and it's like, I want it the hottest today. I did my hair myself. Okay, we're gonna have to blow this up now and we're gonna have to clean it and Nana's gonna have to help me. Hi. Is this recording? Okay, if it is recording, I just stole the camera, so side eye. Okay, bye. Push it in. Okay, so it's still pumping. And then we put tape right here because Nana found a hole. I don't know how she found it. Really, really dirty. So. Nana ate so much. This is not as well. Nana has coconuts. Just for you. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. All right, this is it so far. It took 20 years for this to blow up. So now we're gonna have to clean it because look at this, and it's raining literally. It's starting to drizzle. So this is the soap water that Nana made. So I'm gonna try and put it on here and then the rain can try to beat off them something here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna share with you guys my secret to white teeth. So it's been like, it's been like 11 years and I haven't wiped my teeth and it's been white, but I need to, they're starting to get yellow again. So I'm gonna share with you guys my secret. This teeth whitening product that I use can last you for years. Like once you do a month or two straight of whitening, at home whitening, this is a teeth whitening mouth guard right here. This is the LED light that's going to help penetrate the gel in your mouth and make your teeth white. How amazing is that, guys? These are my secrets to white teeth. We're gonna put this on. Now, with me, with this kit, you cannot brush your teeth and then do this right after. You have to wait an hour after brushing your teeth. 
I do this mainly right before I go to bed. So I'll brush my teeth, wait one hour, do this. I'll drink water before doing it too because I'm gonna have to have this in my mouth for 30 minutes. 15 minutes per session. I do two sessions of 15 minutes and I go to sleep and then I'll let it sit on my clean teeth. Now I think my problem areas are the sides. They're getting yellow and the bottoms, the tops. I'm mainly gonna focus on the sides. So I'm gonna use a little bit of the gel. Guys, I'm gonna put some at the sides. If you guys like, if I feel like tingling or anything, burning my teeth, like my gum, cause it'll affect your gum. <sighs> Take it out immediately. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna drink some water. All right, so here's the first 15 minutes. This tripod keeps sliding down. I'm already in a shitty mood. Like, I can't find anything I like. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, like, oh, you're nitpicking. You're just, you're doing too much, basically. And I'm like, no, like, they, they but me, so it's going to be a good day. Okay, I only did 15 minutes of teeth whitening because I don't want to do it anymore. And I'm supposed to do two 15 sessions, but I'm like, my teeth are not even that yellow. They're getting yellow again, but they're not that yellow for me to do 30 sessions. So for the next hour, I'm not going to drink any liquids. And if I do, it has to be through a straw, but I don't drink any liquids at all. And yeah, it wasn't bad this session. So I am watching some Chelsea Janae. I really like her. I'm going to find more creators. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of of the day today i did some emails in the morning and i may i think i'm gonna edit period i should have get my little edge okay this is our view i like sitting outside here because it's i just like it hi guys it's the next day i'm so upset because i wanted sushi and there was only one restaurant in mandeville that promoted on instagram that they had sushi but something told me to call because this is jamaica you'll go to the restaurant and they said they don't have what you came here specifically for and they promote it on their, in their instagram stuff so i called them and they're like they don't have sushi and i was like so when will you guys have like is there a certain day you guys have and she's like oh we don't know when if we'll ever get back sushi instagram i don't know i was so upset because i was looking forward to having sushi i was so excited because i'm like this is probably the first place in mandeville that sells sushi and it's going to be there all the time it's annoying like how I have to go to Kingston to have sushi all the time or if I go to Mobe, I'm gonna have to wait till then or maybe Ochi to get sushi. It's annoying. Like I actually find it annoying. And I feel like Mandeville people, like we travel a lot. People who live in Manchester alone. I feel like they a lot of people who live in Manchester travel, don't they? Yeah. yeah, I feel like out of a lot of the parishes and like people here travel a lot. And people who used to live in Farron, they come back down here to live in this parish. So I feel like you have the target audience in this parish to have sushi i may be wrong obviously because i don't own a restaurant but anyway so of course we came to my fave rest this is probably the best restaurant in mandeville because of course i ate at every single one over the years um voila bailu this is the best restaurant in regards to customer service sizing the time it takes for you to get your stuff where's this guy actually because i'm so thirsty and i just ordered a drink because i need something to drink um, yeah, this restaurant's the best. So if I ever say, like, you guys, you, if you guys want good portion sizes too, like, filling portion sizes, come to this restaurant. You're going to get your money's worth. And that's what I look for at the end of the day. I look for it. It was my money well spent. And how was the customer service? So. I'm here. I was supposed to go get my hair done. I keep on telling you guys I wanted to go get my hair done. Who still didn't get their hair done? The hairdresser, is, I guess, is busy today. So she told me she was going to call me, but it's... 247 now and I just don't want to do my hair anymore so I'm probably just gonna take this out and do full locks I'm pretty sure this is the last kind of like mandible Manchester Claire does vlog you guys gonna get for me because <laughs> you guys wonder why oh yeah drinks are here Thank you. Oh, we can tell them what we want from now okay can we get one of the grilled ribeye Steak, the mashed potato, and house-made steak sauce. Steak sauce? 
Yeah. Okay. Well, we can share salad. You want some of this salad? You can split it in half. Yeah. Yeah. So, so can we have one Caesar, which, which salad? Caesar salad. Okay, I'll just get us pasta again. I always do this. Okay, what? A creamy Alfredo pasta. What are Alfredo pasta? Okay, we can add the. Grill um fried chicken. The grilled chicken. The grilled chicken. Yeah. That's how I'm ordering it. You guys need to see me. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so guys, I'm so like I'm talking a lot because I've like okay. There's gonna be a lot of changes happening in my life this year, and I'm also gonna bring you guys along with me. I'm done with social media. I did like leisurely just scrolling. I'll only be on it whenever I need to post from now on because. I think I some days I'll be on TikTok for the whole day till that the next day I feel like vomiting if I go on the app. And I feel like I realize I'm not even productive when I'm carelessly on the app. Sometimes I'm on the app actually genuinely staying up with trends and like finding out what the new trends is and getting content ideas. But most times I'm just on there just Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Um on TikTok educates you. I think I learned a lot off TikTok more than any other social platform in my whole entire life. If you think about it, I learned so much off a 15 second video. And, um, yeah. guys, we're sharing one salad because I knew it was going to be so big. And I'm on a mini date right now, so we're going to just share this. And whenever we don't finish, we bring home, obviously. And then we're gonna put some cheese on it as well. Really? Yeah. So this is why I wanted to have this. I need to start taking care of my health better. Again? Yeah. Okay, so he got steak with steak sauce and then this vegetables and mashed potato this is a steak sauce and then i got the typical guys uh, we're gonna eat you mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we're all done now. Um, I didn't leave, finish. Leave them here or what? Here? Them two here. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna pack up everything now. Oh, and it's raining. It was so hot today, so we kind of figured it was going to rain. Oh. There you go. It's raining, it's raining. Okay, I'm home now. And I got a PR package from Kiehl's. It's a skincare brand. I was like, well, who sent me this? So this is their PR package. I'm on their PR team now. This is probably my first brand that I'm on their PR team. I'm, well, they told me that they're going to put me on their PR team, but this is the first package so far. So I don't know how long I'm going to be on their PR team for. And I actually appreciate it because I didn't know people actually cared enough to put me on it. I thought you had to be like super good. I'm going to forever remember that they're the first brand that ever put me on their PR team. I would love to be on the PR team for like a clothing brand. <laughs> Because you would get so much clothes all the time. Uh, it's like customs open this. I won't I wouldn't know if they stole anything because I don't know what they were sending me. But customs open this and I don't know how to how the hell do I open this? Oh. They open it and everything inside of it is like going everywhere. That's one thing I hate about Jamaica, like they open their your packages before you, so it doesn't feel like you know what I mean? Like it doesn't feel like a hundred percent. So we got the new ultra serums, the new ultra pure serum, and it, this is not a paid partnership or anything. They just sent me PR. I'm just gonna unbox it because this is my first PR. All these boxes are open. All right. So this is how they packaged it. So it says their entire Kiehl's collection is clean and it's at Sephora, which is good. Oh, so you just put some drops on your face in the morning and it's supposed to, I guess, reduce your oil throughout the day. Oh, I'm gonna try this out. And this is the uh, moisture plumping. 
So they have a moisture pumping serum too. So if you want to add more moisture in your skin, I don't have to worry about moisture. I'm in Jamaica, so. The humidity down here provides moisture all the time. And this is texture smoothing serum. I have texture around these parts of my face. So let me read this. I'm gonna use this every day and I'm gonna see if there's a difference. And I think after one week, we're supposed to see a difference. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to watch some movies and stuff. Don't get weird. Hi guys, it's the next day and I look so oily. <laughs> I guess in this vlog, we are not going to do my hair or go over to the place in North Manchester. We'll do it in a different vlog. I'm in Christiana right now, and I'm here with Amia. She's so cute. Hold on, let me show you her. She's so cute. Look at her. We just got her from school. We're at the bank right now. She's eating. She's so cute. Look at her. She acts so shy. So yeah, um, we're doing a little few errands, but look upon this. Oh, good. I get a parking now. I was waiting for a parking. Let me get back to you guys. Okay, this is where the new new courts is in Christiana. I was trying to tell you guys about it. I th yeah. So looks great. And it's big. There I am with Sissy. She's eating. We're going on a walk in Christiana. We're in the parking lot. Of Scotia Bank. I finally got a parking because I was parked at the side right here. But now I was able to park at the side right here. So I'll see you guys in a bit. We're in the supermarket now. Yeah. Say hi, we've just picked up Nan and Squidgy. Look at her clothes. They came from karate class, but Squidgy always ends up putting on his clothes. Your zipper is down. We're in Spellings, it just finished raining. Nana, what do you have to say about karate? Oh, did we tell you she's a blue belt? Show them your belt. Just lift up your shirt. There. So she got blue belt from karate. <laughs> What are you looking at? Okay, well, guys, we're just here. We'll see you guys in a bit. We're going to the supermarket, right? Uh, no, we're gonna brush my hair. Oh, I'd even update you guys. Like, my fingernail's coming off. Let me see if I can show you guys. So I bought a fingernail clipper just a while ago. Can you see? Can your fingernail come off? Yeah. Thing? So I'm gonna unclip it. I'll show you guys how it looks. Nasty. Never going back to regular mopping again. This rings out your mop for you. This is at my mom's house. Guys, look at the pepper tree at our house. There's so much. And this one's really big. It looks small on camera, but it's actually big. And then there's these. You have to get Squidgy to pick all these. Mm -hmm. This here. So we're going to plant some more things. And we're going to show you guys. No, these are nice. Okay, we're in Spalling, Squidgy. He's going to go get his hair cut. <laughs> I feel like I do the same thing in all of my vlogs, then. Okay, we're in here. The same exact thing. Ooh! Oh, these ones are different. I bought one of these. It had Virgo on it, but... Oh, it was one of these. I bought the plain ones. Well, this one has my jewelry on it. I don't see Virgo. Oh, I found it. It's right here. Squidgy! Squidgy's cutting his hair down. <laughs> This is a before. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the after. I look a little bit more cleaner, yeah. 
Okay, we're looking for children's socks for school. Where are you buying them? Oh, the other ones had holes in them? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so annoying. All you oh, see it just says blue on there. We need black. Yeah, all you always see is brown, brown, brown. Like, it's annoying. It's raining still. And we got nannies. Nanny, oh, say hi. I need to pay a bill. Is the hi. system up? Nana, and then here's um. They went the uh, Nan, Western Mia. Union. Did I even show Mia in my vlog? Oh, we were walking to go to the hairdresser. That's why you guys saw us. Did they pay a bill in here? Paymaster, they might send you to Across the road? Western Union now. I think I went there to pay one time and they sent me to Western Union. They said, don't do that. Yeah, but the, I've been going since all week and they said they're, 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 the machine system is down. Look, this is my union. Wait, mom, can I move? I clean up my bag every day. It's supposed to come. Oh, update about my finger. I still didn't take it off, but I cut it down lower. But the whole nail is detached. Today's a rating day. Oh, we should tell them about your driving lessons experience down here. Driver's test experience down here. Yep. She oh. went to go get her driving. Um, license. 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 and she said they failed her three. Was it three times they failed you? Yeah, wanted me to come back a fourth time. Yeah, and, I said, and then that's why? when she started cussing them off because <laughs> she's like, I've been driving for how long? You guys are failing me on purpose. But a lot of people did tell her that they were gonna fail her on purpose if she doesn't pay someone to get through. And mm -hmm. then the manager there at the depot that we went to, he was rude on top of it too. And he was from Africa, like, he was from Africa and he migrated to Jamaica to live. And what was the rude thing that he said? This is not foreign. He told her because she was like, why are you guys failing me? And you, when she was studying for the test, I showed you guys in one of the vlogs. They were asking her mechanical questions like, well, give us one of the examples. <laughs> like, what happened? They asked you something in the bonnet. What was one of them that we were like, are you a mechanic? Yeah, it was a whole bunch of stuff. And if you're going down the hill with a truck and it um, thing there. If um it, it it's reversed, you're supposed to go in a faster gear if you're going down a hill. If it won't go, you're going a faster gear. And I'm like, what? Yeah, and then they'll have stuff like oh sorry my hair, but they'll have something that says like okay when you're looking in the bonnet of your your car, what connects like the valve to the oh, like battery? And all that yeah, stuff. and yeah. the condenser. And we're like oh it looks like yeah. you're actually going to school to become a mechanic, not to. Mm -hmm. And I said to him, the book does not correspond with the test. That's when he oh, realized yeah. that I picked up. And then he was started acting up and stuff and going on and on and on. I says, I says, why does the book and the test doesn't match together? He says, I must take that up with the, the ministry. I said, aren't yeah, you guys the ministry? Through. He said, no. And I said, then how are you guys doing the stuff and the stuff that doesn't correspond? And the time I said, they, the booking company do for it. I said, nothing is making sense. And I said, I'm going to put you guys up on YouTube and they start getting scared. <laughs> and that's when they gave yeah. her the driving lessons because she had to threaten them with social media. Let me tell you something. They told her to buy, they told her Jeez. to buy the book to study. And they're like, everything in the book is what's going to be on the test when you yes. go in. She went into the test. Nothing was, and I'm yeah. telling you, this, she was studying every day, like for an hour, she would study once a day until leading up to it and then she went in she failed three times i know what he and said a lot of people did say you have to buy your license down here it's actually yeah, true you yes, have to buy yes. your license in this country and you know what it's he said? weird are you studying to drive a truck i said no and he says why are you studying about because i said your secretary gave oh. it to me and this is she's supposed to know and he said weren't you supposed to ask i said is she supposed to know yeah and then i'm like well if i didn't know she was the one that recommended me to because i'm doing my regular I guess it's G license. Oh, what license they give me? No one different one they give me. Me no know Oh, it's the wrong book they gave you too. I know them are cover for the mistake with them. Yeah, make. so that's they what happens them down here. There's like a dis, there's like a disconnect in communications at a lot of the businesses yeah. down here, which I realize. One person will tell you one thing, and then you come mm -hmm. back with the stuff. That another person is telling you no, that's not what you need, and then they're just wasting your time. She specifically told me to buy the mechanical handbook, and I did. 
Yeah, right? but it was. But everybody so bad. that I know, they all they all bought their driver's yeah, license. Yeah, everyone we know. So what they do is just take you around the block. You just drive up the road, and that's it. And you get your driver's license. And the manager at the depot had a no care attitude. Yeah. And I know some of you guys who watch this will know him. Well, he has a no care attitude. The last time I went there with someone else, I got into an argument with the people them there. I put my foot on something just to go in my bar. I'll be here. Hi, hi. So I said, I, I, oh, I'm going to be my chat too. Yeah. yeah I'm going to be my chat too. So I said, hey, oh, what's going on? So I went like this. Me? He said, yeah. Take off your foot off of this. I said, oh, okay, okay. I didn't know, you know what, you know? A totally stranger. Yeah, yeah, I remember I sat on the edge of the depot, like where the flowers are on the building when you go in. I wasn't sitting on the flowers. I was sitting on like the, they have like a border, a concrete border. And there he was like, get up. You can't sit there. The owner... Because we were cussing and they heard us cussing. <laughs> and he came out to me, he's like, get off off there. You're not allowed to sit on there. And I was like, okay. Yes, first time. Nana, how was school? Good. Okay, so these were all the peppers that I took. Look how big they They don't look big on camera, but they're actually huge. big. Those are huge. And I'm going to eat hot. these. Yeah, yeah, I can smell them. I just opened this in my whole mm -hmm. front of my... I'm going to have to wash this bag because I put stuff at the front and I don't want my eyes to burn. One day I put... Mm. Look. Oh, like this one's open. JP, that's a, that's what's good. B blend them. JP, mm -hmm. more pepper for your papa tree. Yeah, we'll there's so much we'll peppers. I need to take some. We're Look gonna at blend this. Them. We're gonna blend them. Blend them twin. I make it one pepper sauce. And you could um. So what do you just do? Blend it and what? Yeah, warm the vinegar a little bit, just a little bit. Throw it in the blender, and throw that in there. You could put onion if you want. You could put um carrot. You could put pimento. That's all, and then you put it in a jar. Or you could just blend the pepper itself. It's even Blend. harder that way. And then I put it on my, my chicken when I'm cooking yeah. it and stuff. Their, Their hair is done. And they go to the same spot that I go do my hair. You guys like it? Let me show you guys how you look. 